The first vehicle is a 1968 Chevrolet Impala 307, listed for $2,000 in Nettleton, Mississippi. It features an automatic transmission with a red exterior and black interior. Having had only two owners, it comes with a clean title and is fully paid off. This car is not for those looking for a quick ride. It requires significant restoration, including a new floor, back glass, and some bodywork. While it retains its original engine and transmission, the engine was last run six months ago, so there's uncertainty about its current operational state. The seller includes a bill of sale, but potential buyers should be prepared for a project rather than a drive-ready vehicle. This Impala is best suited for enthusiasts who enjoy restoring classic cars or are willing to invest in considerable repairs. The second vehicle is a 1975 Chevrolet Nova, priced at $1,500 and listed in Borger, Texas. This car features an Audic transmission and a red exterior, and it comes with a clean title according to the listing. However, the Nova is far from road ready. While the engine runs, it requires substantial work. The front bumper is present, but the driver's side glass is missing, which could lead to additional complications. Moreover, the title has been lost which could pose significant legal hurdles for potential buyers. This vehicle might appeal to those who are passionate about restoring vintage cars and have the resources to handle both mechanical and administrative challenges. Anyone considering this Nova should be prepared for a considerable investment of time and effort to bring it back to its former glory. The third vehicle is a 1973 Chevrolet Classic, available for $1,500 in Axtell, Nebraska. This car has been driven 134,915 miles and features an automatic transmission with a red exterior. It is fully paid off. Described as a parts car, this 1973 Chevy Nova comes with a 307 V8 engine but is currently not running. The seller cannot provide a title but can offer a bill of sale. The car has noticeable rust, making it less than ideal for immediate use. However, it still contains valuable parts that could be useful for restoring another Nova or potentially converting this one into a race car. This vehicle is sold on a first-come, first-served basis with no holds. This Nova is best suited for someone looking for a project car or needing specific parts for another restoration. The fourth vehicle is a 1978 Cadillac Seville sedan four-door, listed for $1,600 in Henderson, Nevada. It has an automatic transmission with a blue exterior and gray interior. Having had only two owners, it comes with a clean title. This Cadillac runs well but requires some repairs, specifically a new fuel pump and a driver's side door panel. Despite these issues, the overall condition seems better than the other vehicles listed, making it potentially less of a project. However, buyers should be ready to invest in the necessary repairs to make it fully functional and presentable. This Seville could be a good option for someone looking for a classic sedan with a bit of work needed to restore it to its former elegance. The fifth vehicle is a 1953 Packard Cavalier priced at $2,000 and located in Pioche, Nevada. This sedan with an automatic transmission has been driven 19,000 miles and features a gray exterior. This Packard Cavalier is a vintage car in need of substantial restoration. It has the original inline flathead eight engine, but it requires front floor pans and new upholstery. The paint is original and shows promise of restoration, rest particularly on the hood and passenger door. The car does turn over when the generator is jumped. Included with the vehicle are a NOS, new old stock, windshield, original hubcaps, rear skirts, and original keys. It operates on a six volt system and comes with a battery. With fewer than 11,000 units produced, this Packard is a rare find, ideal for a classic car enthusiast willing to invest in significant repairs to bring it back to life.
The sixth vehicle is a 1978 Lincoln Continental, listed for $2,000 in Roseville, California. It features an automatic transmission, a red exterior, and a black interior. It has had two owners and is fully paid off. This Lincoln Continental requires significant repairs. It comes equipped with a 460 engine, Edelbrock intake, and Holley carburetor, but it is not in running condition and will need to be towed. On the positive side, it has upgraded slotted disc brakes all around, which could be appealing to those interested in restoring this classic vehicle. Potential buyers should be prepared for a considerable project, both mechanically and cosmetically, to bring this Continental back to its former grandeur. The seventh vehicle is a 1973 Volkswagen Beetle 1.8 TS hatchback two-door priced at $1,200 and listed in Renville, Minnesota. It has an automatic transmission with an orange exterior and black interior. The seller is listing this car on behalf of a neighbor and indicates that the price is negotiable or best offer. The Beetle has both its engine and transmission in place, but it is not operational and will need to be towed. This vehicle could be a good project for someone looking to restore a classic Beetle, but be prepared for significant work to get it roadworthy again. The eighth vehicle is a 1948 Chevrolet Stylemaster, listed for $2,000 in Eldon, Missouri. It has a manual transmission, a black exterior, and a red interior. The vehicle is fully paid off and comes with a clean title. This Stylemaster features an inline six engine and a three-speed transmission. While it is not currently running, the motor does turn over. The seller is listing this car for their father who bought it as a project but lacks the time to complete it. The seats have been recently reupholstered, adding some value to the interior. All necessary parts are included except for the interior door trims. This classic Chevy could be a rewarding restoration project for someone willing to invest the time and effort. The ninth vehicle is a 1973 Chrysler New Yorker, listed for $1,700 in Phelan, California. It has been driven in 80,000 miles and features an automatic transmission with a brown exterior and beige interior. The car has had more than three owners and is fully paid off. This New Yorker, powered by a 440 V8 engine, is a full restoration project. The seller parked the car 30 years ago, and it has remained untouched since. The car is mostly intact except for the missing radiator. The rear frame is slightly bent, and while the body is largely straight, it does have some scrapes. Over the years, bushes have grown around the vehicle, so potential buyers will need to clear a path to remove it. This vehicle is best suited for an enthusiast, looking for a challenging yet rewarding restoration project. The 10th vehicle is a 1970 Volkswagen Beetle listed for $2,000 in Santa Maria, California. It has a manual transmission and a black exterior. The car is fully paid off. This classic Beetle has been sitting for a while and shows some rust, making it a good project car for restoration enthusiasts. It comes with a motor, but does not currently run. The seller provides a bill of sale only, meaning there's no title available. To transport this vehicle, you'll need a trailer. This Beetle is suitable for someone prepared to invest time and effort into reviving a classic car. Uh, the 11th vehicle is a 1965 Ford F100 regular cab long bed listed for $12,200 in St. George, Utah. It has a manual transmission with a blue exterior and interior and has been driven 100,000 miles. This F100 is a project truck featuring a 240 straight six motor. The seller recently freed the motor, which now turns over by, by hand, but the starter is stuck. The truck does not have a title, but though the original owner's name is in the owner's manual. According to the seller, obtaining a title in Utah is straightforward through the DMV. Purchased in Kansas, the truck has spent its entire life there until recently. This F100 is ideal for someone looking to take on a restoration project and willing to navigate the title acquisition process.